Well, happening right now in Spokane Valley, a grocery store bagging competition. <laughs> the very best grocery baggers from all over the state of Washington gathered tonight to show off their skills. Our Nikki Torres was there as the action unfolded. And Nikki, uh, three of those baggers were from right here in Spokane. Yeah, Nadine, Aaron, that's right. Here is that scoring sheet. They were uh, judged off of technique, some style, and even their speed. Three competitors are from the Spokane area. The grand prize winner for Washington State was actually Henry Johnson. He's from Meade. He, as well as a bunch of others in this competition, were greeted and cheered on by a pretty great crowd. Cowbells. Set and bag. Loud crowd and fierce grocery bagging from Washington's finest baggers at the best bagger battle in Spokane Valley. The competition hosted baggers from across Washington State. But the first place winner, he's local, Henry Johnson from Mead. I didn't put too much pressure on myself. I mean, I'm just happy to be here. So are his friends. He's my buds. From Mount Spokane High School, we're seniors. They came out here today right after school. They brought the head, and uh, yeah, I love them. They're great. Two other Spokane residents competed in the competition as well. Spokane competitor Mitchell Billings can tell you it's not for the lighthearted. I actually made myself bleed um, practicing so hard for it. And as fellow Spokane competitor Kaylee Wardrip will tell you, Grocers do what they do because they love it. It's just fun because I get to talk to people and I just get, I get to be myself. And herself is one fast bagger. Again, the first place winner is Henry Johnson. He's from Mead. He's a grocer at Yokes Fresh Market. Being the winner, he does have the opportunity to go to the national competition in San Diego. The winner there will win $10,000. He already won $2,000 for today. And if you're wondering what happened to all of that food that they were bagging in the competition, all of that was boxed up and brought to a local food bank. Reporting live in Spokane Valley, Nikki Torres, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Nikki.